This is going to be one of those more serious videos. New dog, try to behave yourself. Anyway, I just I just want to talk about the, the topic of Syria and what's probably going to be the imminent involvement of the United States, be it either ground forces or just Tomahawk missiles or whatever the case may be. Uh, it's looking like the United States is going to involve their military might in some way, shape, or form. There's already U.S. destroyers moving over to the Mediterranean to launch hell and all this shit. But anyway, I've gotten to the point in my life where I've been pro-war. Uh, I was for the invasion of Iraq when George W. Bush and Colin Powell told us about all the weapons of mass destruction. I bought into all that shit. And I'm at the point now where I'm kind of just I'm kind of just sick and fed up of America being a world police force. Now, I know some people are going to disagree with that and some people are going to say, well, you know, when the less mighty get taken advantage of by the almighty in their country and they get rained down on with things like chemical weapons which is what is being reported to be done here in Syria right now using chemical weapons killing off people in thousands and nerve toxins and shit like that that's real bad news I hear all of you that are gonna say you know oh my god it's just the level of horrificness over there is just mind-blowing I get all that, but as far as America being like, you know, the whole police force of the world, I just, I, I just, I just keep asking myself, why? Why should we involve ourselves in another nation's conflict, even if it is to help out the lesser power from being obliterated? by the higher power in the country that's cheating, for lack of a better term, by using chemical weapons. And, and actually, I mean, it doesn't even matter if it's the higher power or the lesser people that are using the chemical weapons. It doesn't matter if it's the smaller guy using it against the bigger guy. I should state that. Um, I mean, it, it may just sound heartless to, to say this, but like, why should we really genuinely care to the point that we want to turn the tide of the war by using our physical military might on a land that is not ours when no particular interest of ours or security of ours is being threatened by this nation? Now, you could rationalize Iraq in saying that, you know, Saddam Hussein didn't like America. If Saddam Hussein could reach America with missiles, he would launch them on us and stuff like that, and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, you could say, okay, yeah, maybe some of the people in charge of Syria would do the same, but it's to the point of, like, is it really realistically feasible? I mean, Saddam Hussein was working on getting a nuclear weapons and stuff along those lines. What, what is Syria really trying to do? If they have any sort of nuclear capability, it's got to be in a pretty low stage of development, you'd think. But anyways, um, not to get too off track here, but I, I don't know. I just, I'm at the point now where I just don't want to see any sort of armed forces being involved in just someone else's conflict. And not only that, but it's such an arbitrary process of which we picked conflicts to get involved with. Uh, even the, the UN as well. Um, it's like, what, what makes this conflict so much more serious than, say, anything going on in a specific warring nation in Africa right now where people are getting killed off between rival tribes every single day in that country. You know, I mean, what, because they're using chemical weapons in Syria? Because the people are cheating on one side? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if a thousand people die here by the hands of, like, machetes or AK-47s versus a thousand people dying here via chemical weapons, it's a thousand people dead on both sides either way. I mean, 
this justification of going in there because they're they're using chemical weapons i'm i'm sorry why is that why why exactly should that be the pushing point that says god damn it we got to send in cruise missiles now god damn it we got to send in forces like that is really what we have to do now i just i don't understand that rationale and it's looking like this shit is going to happen and Everyone's just kind of accepting of it. Granted, I mean, there's a lot of people speaking out against it, of course, but if it does happen, I mean, everyone's just going to be like, oh, shit, it happened. Damn, we're involved in another conflict in this world. I mean, does America have to be that person? We have the, the most mighty military, so I guess that means we have to be the world police force. I guess that's the justification for it. I don't know. Someone explain to me the justification for why America should possibly be involved in any way, shape, or form from a military level involving in this Syria conflict. This Syrian conflict. Why? I just, I just, I wrap my mind around it. I just can't think of why. And now there's a report in the AP that the chemical weapons that were reported to be used were a quote-unquote accident. Uh, the re the, there's a report where it said the rebels that fired these missiles off were just as surprised as everyone else when they found out that they were chemical weapons. They got these armaments supposedly from Saudi Arabia. Uh, they didn't understand the markings or something along those lines. They fired them off and oh shit, they're chemical weapons. Now, is that absolutely plausible? Uh, absolutely. I think that's absolutely a plausible circumstance for what could happen. Is it plausible that they're just saying that to cover their asses now and they knew full well what was in those warheads before they fired them off? Absolutely. Uh, for you conspiracy theorists out there, is it possible that the CIA detonated some sort of chemical agent to make it look like a strategic attack? Absolutely, that's plausible as well. But the thing is here, there is doubt. And when you see a report like this and you see the rebels speaking up, it's like, it's like, oh, well, maybe there is an ounce of doubt to this. And maybe it wasn't an absolute deliberate attempt. Uh, one thing that I would say is if you're going to use chemical warfare and you know once you use it, you're going to get caught red-handed, you can't just say like, oh, wow, those thousand people just randomly died from breathing air and they don't have any sort of burns or anything on them, it's going to be obvious to use chemical weapons. So if you have chemical weapons, why not use them in massive droves? Why just this one attack, this one instance that's being reported? It seems like there should be a lot more times that you would see this popping up over Syria. Yeah, it just seems to be this one instance. That, to me, is kind of peculiar. That, to me, leans to the possibility that this was just an accidental usage. Now, does it make it just like, you know, like, oh, okay, they're bad, they're forgiven. No, it's still chemical weapons being used, and if you have chemical weapons, you should be responsible with them. Naughty, naughty Syrian rebels that use these. But, I don't know. It just seems like there is so much doubt with this. The more that I read articles about this, the more I see news coverage. And on top of that, we got problems in our own country. I know it's so cliche to say that, but we got problems of our own here. And we're going to involve ourselves in someone else's fucking problem? Uh, how many times does this have to happen? <laughs> Again, it may sound heartless to say, oh, Archfiend, we have to defend these people that are getting nerve agents used on them. Gas! They're being gassed to death with chemical warfare. <sighs> I'm sorry. Call me heartless. But that is their problem to figure out. I mean, my God, so many countries have gone through revolutions where thousands and millions of people have died on one end in wars within one nation against each other. It's just a vicious cycle of life that has happened time and time again in this world. And if it makes me heartless to say that I really just don't care if Syrians are killing other Syrians, then by God, call me heartless. Because it's not my problem that I feel my country should involve their military in. 
I, any country that is not my own or any country that isn't threatening the interests of the country I live in, the military interests abroad of my countrymen, serv servicemen serving abroad, I'm just sorry. I just, I can't feel that much compassion for a country warring with itself and them having their own personal strife. As I said, we have our own problems here. I want to end on one final note here, because I want to know actually what uh, people think about this. Uh, a a co-worker that I work with, we were talking about like, you know, uh, how bad things are getting in some uh, cities here in the United States, uh, specifically Chicago and Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, there's news reports uh, coming out of Trenton right now that some police officers refuse to work certain beats. Uh, work in certain districts of Trenton because it has gotten so bad there. The crime rates have gotten so bad. The crime, the, just any, anything else that is uh, threatening a life of a police officer they don't want to involve themselves in, it's gotten so bad that some police officers refuse to work certain districts. To Chicago, where you have uh, some reports saying there's more gang activity there than in Southern California, which is astounding because no one ever thought we'd see a, a day like that come. And the co-worker said to me the other night at work, he said, you know, why don't we have the National Guard patrolling these areas? Not to do the work of the police, like catch the speeders or anything like that, just to be a physical armed presence in these areas that have gotten out of control. Now, I know right off the bat, you people are like, oh my god, Archfiend is for a military state where oh, he's going to be okay, but tomorrow tanks are going to be rolling down the road and there's going to be full military control of every city. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying when a city gets beyond the threshold of the point that the police don't even want to police the streets, that there should be an option where a mayor of a town can say, you know what, I want to activate some of the servicemen in my state's uh, National Guard to help keep the peace, to help civilize the uncivilized sector of our community here. Is that too much to ask? But no, instead we got to have servicemen being staffed up to do something like this potential and imminent attack on Syria because they use chemical weapons there on their own people. But when we have people shooting each other in the streets here, all we got to do is rely on the police force. And now it's looking like the police force just doesn't even want to get involved in certain circumstances. I'm not saying police forces across the board are just, you know, just tuck their tail between their leg dogs and run in the other direction. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying when you see a news report that people aren't working a certain beat in Trenton because it's just got too hot in the kitchen for them, uh, then that worries me. That honestly worries me. And saying something like, yeah, maybe there should be a few hummers of National Guardsmen just patrolling the streets at night. Is that too much to ask? I'm not saying a complete military state to take place. Maybe just a physical presence of some more armed personnel on the street. Is that too much to ask? Is that ridiculous? Anyway, oh, I think I went off on a tangent enough here for you people. Uh, it's just something that's on my mind. The more I see about the serious shit on the news and the articles I read about it, the more I just go, are we seriously going to involve ourselves in another conflict in this country because we're the great world police here in America? I don't know. What do you guys think? And if you guys can explain to me why... <laughs> As an American citizen, citizen, I should be proud if my country does physically involve themselves in this conflict in Syria. If you could tell me what's the greater good to come from this, uh, please, please go ahead and tell me because I'd like to know. Anyway, everyone, have a great day. Thank you for behaving, new dog. You took the very serious approach in today's serious video. He's biting my feet. Thanks. Take care, everyone.